What's going on, y'all? It's the Vegan Foodie here. Listen, if this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, then I need you to hit the subscribe button. I need you to hit the bell notification. So every time I drop a video, you get that, baby. Okay? And like and share and do all that comment and all that kind of stuff because I love to read y'all comments. So listen, y'all know I'm here to give you game. Excuse my nail. I broke my nail, but it'll be done tomorrow. But y'all know I'm here to give you game, right? And so today I want to give you some game that's going to help you in your life and help you manifest and help you succeed and help you to get out of your mental funk, right? So today I am telling you that you need to stop being in competition with people. Stop it. It's not healthy. You know it's not healthy. You know it ain't good. People think, oh, being in competition is good. You, But listen, competition is only good if you're running a race, literally, if you are in a competitive sport, literally. But if you in competition mentally with people, you see somebody doing something, so you want to be in competition with them. You trying to outdo somebody that don't even know they in competition with you. That shit is whack as hell. First and foremost, the worst thing you can do is be in competition with somebody that they don't know that they're in competition with you. Like, realistically, that's really envious. That's really you being envious and that's really you being jealous, right? So listen, you have to stop being in these silent competitions with people. If you ain't getting paid like a, 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 a championship or if you ain't, you know, running a race, like I said, running a marathon, you don't need to be in competition with people. What you need to do is study people, see what they did to succeed, and then take notes from them you take notes from them and then you figure out how you can do it in your own way not try to do what they're doing verbatim but figure out how you can do it in your own way the worst thing that you can do when you're trying to manifest greatness is to be in silent competition with people you have to be happy for people like right now you know, salute to Tabitha Brown. She got the cooking show, Pinky. She's doing epic things. She is now an advisor at DoorDash. And they are vegan ladies doing their thing, right? They're vegan mothers. They're vegan wives. They're vegan girlfriends. They doing their thing. I'm not in competition with them. I'm actually happy for them because they're creating lanes for more people like me, right? So you cannot be in competition with people. That shit is whack. It's disturbing. And, you know, when people call themselves in competition with me, I'm an empath. So I can feel it. I know, right? And so it doesn't make me feel good. It actually makes me pull myself further away from that person because I don't want anybody to be in competition with me. If I can be an inspiration, if I can help you, if I can be motivation, that's what I want to be. I want to be a person's motivation. I don't want to be in competition with nobody because I'm not even competition with my old self because my old self no longer exists. Like for real, for real. So listen, if you're in competition with somebody, the only thing I can tell you to do is stop that shit. Like cut it dead. Look at them for motivation. Take notes from their lives. You know, research how they got to that point. And then look at them as a blueprint. Don't look at them as direct competition because the moment that you think you're in competition with somebody, that means that you're giving off envious and jealous energy and you're not going to get to that place if you have that mindset. You have to be in a mindset of gratitude. You have to be in a mindset of humility. You have to be ready to take notes. You have to be ready to just really absorb what a person is doing and figure out how you can be great in your own right. And then another thing, if you see somebody else doing something, don't think that you can do exactly what they're doing because you don't know the life purpose. You don't know what God has called them to do. You don't know the work that they've been through. You don't know the connections. You know nothing about their story. So if you see somebody doing something, don't say, well, if they do it, I could do it too. No, you can't. Because if you could, you would have did it first. And they would be saying that about you. Or they might not be saying that at all. They might be calling you for advice. So that's another thing. Stop trying to do what you see somebody else doing and do what you need to do for you. Like I said in a previous video, we all have our own life purpose. You need to find your life purpose and you can use other people's successes as motivation, as blueprints. But you don't need to be in competition and trying to do what somebody else doing because, listen, there's enough money for everybody. 
Everybody has a life purpose. Everybody has a goal. Everybody has something that they're supposed to do. Because if you're trying to do what somebody else is doing, then you're trying to be somebody else. Realize that. If you're trying to do what somebody else is doing, that means that you aren't happy with yourself. And you're trying to jump out of your body and be in their body. So if you're in competition... Or if you trying to do exactly what somebody else doing, that's a clear sign that you are happy with yourself and you need to do evaluation on how you feel about yourself, how you feel about goals. Now, granted, you know, a lot of people say, okay, well, because there's a lot of things that people do that other people do, but they do it in their own way. So I'm not saying you can't be the vegan foodie. Well, you can't be the vegan foodie because I'm the vegan foodie. But let's say you want to create content like I do, right? Create content in your lane. Do what works for you. You can't do exactly what I'm doing because I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just recording and just turning on the camera. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. So how are you going to do what I'm doing when I don't even know what I'm doing? You know, so realistically, you just need to find your lane and don't be in competition. Don't try to do what somebody else is doing. You need to do what works for you. The worst thing that you can do is be in competition with somebody. Now, some people watching this and they got people because you know we done talked about those people, but let's talk to the people who have people that's in competition with you, right? You need to feel kind of sad for them because that means that they haven't really find what they want to do with their life and so they're using you as a as a like a, a vision board you're their vision board and so now they're watching you like okay if they do this i'm gonna do this or if they say this i'm gonna say this you know or i'm gonna be in competition with them because i want to be greater than them you 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 just you just pray for those people you just feel sad for those people you send them love and light you know what i'm saying and if they in your family or close to you you give them motivation and how to be great within themselves and if you have friends that's always in competition with you or siblings that's always in competition with you turn a blind eye don't pay attention to them because guess what somebody else gonna come along and they're gonna be in competition with them and they're gonna be in a hamster wheel of being in competition with people trying to outdo people trying to up one that's like the up one the try to do better than you mindset is still envy it's still jealousy. It's still they haven't found their place. And you can see some people that you would think, oh, they got this. Why are they in competition with me? Because they have low self-esteem. They haven't worked through trauma. They haven't figured out exactly their place in life. So for them, being in competition makes them feel valid, makes them feel like they have something going on. And that's really a sad place to be. The, the worst place to be is feeling like you got to one-up somebody. I don't feel like I need to one-up nobody. And I don't feel like nobody can one-up me, you know, because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do for me at the speed that I'm supposed to go based on my manifestations, based on the conversations I have with the universe and based on my life path that was set way before I got here. You know, so if you have people that's in competition with you, burn some sage, throw some salt around and just turn a blind eye to them. And you know what? Pray for them, whatever you want to do, but don't feel any type of way don't get mad by it don't be enraged by it don't feel like you need to address them just let they asses be because guess what you ain't on that hamster the wheel with them you ain't in their brain so you don't even know what they be thinking about what type of stuff they put into their mind what type of things they do that makes them feel inadequate because when a person is in competition and it's not like they're like i said running a race or doing some type of sport they feel inadequate now if you you know are playing basketball or you want to be some type of athlete you have to have that competitive sport because that's how you win that's what drives but you're also studying your competition so you can be better in that aspect, you need to study your competition to be better. But if you ain't trying to play football, basketball, soccer, run a race, swim, uh, play tennis, or, or, or any type of athletic thing, then you or, or playing chess, some type of game, you know, you don't need to be in competition with nobody. You need to find 
your lane and ride your lane as hard as you possibly can. And if somebody's in competition with you, that's just like a, a friend that's in competition trying to get the best guy or get the best girl or drive the best car or have the newest designer or, you know, have the most lit friends let them be that's their own insecurity that's showing out and they think that it's in their mind they're building it up in their head and thinking it's healthy and good competition when really it's sad it's pathetic and don't nobody got time to be dealing with people like that okay so i just wanted to make this quick video you know to tell people stop being in competition and if somebody's in a competition with you just let the ass be because people be in competition with me and I just let them be because you can't do me and I ain't trying to do you. That is a fact on that. Okay. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, uh, TikTok, all of that. And also I'm super excited. I just released my fourth book, which is my X Back book. It's called The X Back Life Chose Me. It's a it's it's an international guide to international living. And also I'm doing an X Back course for all of those who like, yo, I want to be an X Back. I'm trying to get out of America. I'm trying to live my best life abroad. I now have that course. So I'll have all of that information below. It's going to be happening July 10th. So it's going to be real in-depth, one-on-one. I'm super excited about doing this. And also, I'm doing a shadow work course too, but I'll announce that in other videos because today we're just talking about the X-Back life. We ain't going to just load you on with a bunch of stuff that I got going on. But just get the book, please. And also take the course if you're really trying to live your X-Back life. And if you are a woman out here and you like, I don't got no friends, all my friends in competitions with me or everybody trying to one-up somebody, you need to join the Vegan Vixen Tribe because that is a safe space where I don't do none of that, none of that ego, none of that one-up, none of that competition. It's just a bunch of women on the same vibrational frequency. So if you need some friends, then come on to the Vegan Vixie Tribe. I got you, baby. Listen, after July, it's going to be $9.99 a month. So you have until tomorrow, actually, to join for $35.99 for the lifetime membership. But if you're watching this video after July, it's $9.99 a month. I do giveaways. I do recipes every single day. I do motivational videos every day. We do phone calls every Sunday. We do meditation every Monday. We do workouts every Saturday. So it's like a community that I created because when I was starting my vegan journey, I didn't have a sisterhood like this. So I created a journey. I'm a sisterhood for women that's on their journey and they could be amongst a bunch of women that's on the same vibration. So anyway, I'm about to get up out of here. I got a phone call. I'm doing a podcast. So I got to take this phone call. But anyway, y'all, Make sure y'all stay tuned. Every single day, I'm dropping the video. So make sure your ass subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification so you can get that baby. All right, peace.